Hey guys, and today I'll be playing Robber Guest, where you find out you're getting robbed and now you wonder what you should do. Oh, just very loud. La 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 la. Good evening. Good evening, miss. Why are you in my house? To rob you, of course. Oh no! Oh, hooray, new fertilizer. Offer him a cup of tea, hand over your money, and personal possessions. Hooray, a new fertilizer! Hand over your money and earthly possessions or else. Hooray, a new fertilizer! You're gonna look amazing inside my garden soil. Are you threatening me, miss? Hose up knife. I have a knife, you know. Oh! Oh no. Hmm. Happy lovely day, miss. Hey, get back here so I can finally kill you and bury you in my garden. The centipede demands fertilizer for its soil. I appreciate the offer, but I do enjoy being alive. I apologize. You chase after the robber. You don't mind. You'll love it when they run. <laughs> what? Good end. Corn to Becky. Predator and prey. Okay. Okay, offer him a cup of tea. Hand over your money and earth possessions or else. But wait! Since you're a guest, although uninvited, I'll have to offer you something to drink first. What would you like, sir? A nice cup of tea would be nice, thank you. Coming right up. Where's she gonna drug him? <laughs> you go and prepare some tea. Here you go. Thank you very much for the tea. Now, I must demand that you must give me your money. Wait, you gotta finish your tea first. Robbing me before him would be rude. I've been a good host, so you gotta be a good guest. Very well then. Downs the tea. Now hand over your cash. Hey, you're supposed to enjoy my tea, not down it. Apologies, but I need your money now. Holds up knife. You pair your guests another cup of tea. <sighs> Here we go. Thank you for the tea. I really do appreciate it. Now about your money. Drink my tea first. Oh dear, alright. Down tea again. Now, your money. You downed it again? What rude and disrespectful behavior. Apologies, now your money. <laughs> Too bad. I put sleeping pills in your tea. Now good night. Huh? No. Please be fair. Just hand over your money. I don't want to be asleep. I wouldn't let you rob me, but you down my tea. Do you know how many robbers would wish their further robbing victims would be so guest friendly? And once you're asleep, I'll do unspeakable things to you. The robber fights to stay awake. It's a losing battle. No, this can't be. You're being so unfair. Falls asleep. Unspeakable things like... Dragging you to the front of my house and not letting you back in again. Ha 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 ha. And then you'll have to find a new house to rob. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Sleep talking. Why must things be so unfair? Shut up, it's your fault for being a rude robber. You all his sleeping face. You attempt to drag him to the front of your house, but he's kinda heavy. Ugh, so annoying. You get distracted by the two dirty teacups your rude guests drank from. Ew. You start loading the dishwasher. Wakes up and rubs eyes. Why am I on the floor? I'm so tired. Hey, can I have another cup of tea? Oh, whoops, I forgot about you. Wait, you want another cup of tea? Yes, if it's no trouble. I can do another with another one. Of course. <laughs> you prepare your guests another cup of tea. There you go. Thank you. This is lovely. Thank you so much. Smiles and downs the tea. Stop downing my tea, goddammit. You're the worst guest and rubber I ever have. Oh dear, you must be really annoyed with me, huh? Well, I did down your tea after all. I suppose to make amends, I could give you something in mind to keep. Something valuable, that is. A guest slash robber reaches into his pocket and takes out an expensive looking diamond ring. How about this? I forgot who I robbed this from. Oh wow, you broke into my house to rob me and now you're giving me your stuff? As a peace offering. Plus, I feel bad for downing your tea. As you should. But okay, I accept your peace offering. You take the expensive looking diamond ring from him. Reverse to being an evil robber again. Excellent. Now give me all your money and stuff. He holds up his knife to you threateningly. What? You gave me the ring only to rob it from me again? Of course I did. I am here to rob you after all. Now just give me your money and stuff, please. OMG, oh, breaking into my house, threatening me with a knife, wanting to rob me? I guess you really do have bad intentions. If only the signs were more clear, I could have seen that sooner. That's correct. Now, just give me your money, please. The robber gives you puppy dog eyes. Aw, oh, I can't say no to that face. You give him the ring back. You want any more tea? Why, yes, another cup of tea would be splendid, thank you. 
coming right up. Make him yet another cup of tea and mix some sleeping pills in again. Here you go, <laughs> chuckles evilly. Why, thank you so much, down tea and falls asleep again. You down my tea again? Ugh, snarl. That's it, this time I'm actually gonna do unspeakable things to him. You feel your animalistic fairy growing your nails sharpening. Evil growling. You tie your shoelaces together like an evil beast that you are. Oh, ha 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 ha. Sleep talking. Why do I feel my shoelaces are being tied together? Hey, sleep talking while being a guest in a house you broke into was rude. You got at his sleeping face again. You get distracted by the dirty teacup your rude grass drank from. Ew. You continue loading the dishwasher. The robber wakes up and notices his shoelaces are tied together. What, what the? Why are my shoelaces tied together? Trips. Ow. Haha. <laughs> you even saw that they were tied together and tripped anyways. What an idiot. Well, he is a moron. I know this kind of revenge seems excessive since you only broke into my house, threatened me with a knife, and robbed me. Not really since it was your ring anyways, but whatever. But you also downed my tea, and that is not acceptable. But I apologize for downing your tea by giving you my ring. Why are you still holding a grudge? Tries to untie your laces and trips again. Well, you robbed the ring back from me. Therefore, the apology doesn't count, silly. But I didn't even steal your ring back. Take back seeds are allowed within 30 seconds, so it was technically still mine. That's the rules. The robber smiled at you, hoping for understanding while still tripping over his shoelaces. Well, I did give you 10 seconds, so you did steal it from me. Hope you trip forever and ever. Trips over shoelaces again. Rolls eyes at you while trying to untie his shoelaces and trips again. Trips? You're so unfair, Trips. No, I'm not. You are. Trips? Just untie my shoelaces already. Please. Trips. Robert continues tripping over his tie shoelaces over and over again. He might seriously hurt himself at some point. Is he still... <laughs> Let him trip... <laughs> if you offer him another cup of tea. Um, let him trip forever and ever. Trips, just in time my shoelaces already, please. Trip. Nope, go trip forever and ever. But please, after tripping and falling over is not very pleasant. Please, make puppy dog eyes. Trips. Nope. Robert starts bleeding and crying. <laughs> please, I'm hurting so badly. I don't want to lie on the floor all day tripping over my shoelaces. Please, please untie them. Trips. No. Trips. Please, I'll give you anything you want. I'll give you my expensive looking diamond ring again. Just untie me. Please, I beg you. Trips. Trips and breaks bones. Cries. Please, I don't want to die here. Just untie my shoelaces. You're making me suffer. That's the point. You'll think twice about downing someone somebody's tea again. And I guess about robbing houses and threatening people with a knife, but whatever. Well, actually, I don't think you'll be doing all that at all once you're dead. I'm really dying, sobs and cries. This is what I get for trying to rob houses. All I wanted to do was a little breaking in, maybe a little stabbing, a little robbing. Why is life so unfair? Sobs and cries more. Trips and breaks more bones. Please just untie my shoelaces. I promise to be a good robber if you do. Please. Attempts to make puppy dog eyes, but looks horrendous doing it. <laughs> horrendous instead with bruised and battered face. You forgot the part where you down my tea. That's the real crime here. Yes, I'm sorry for downing your tea as well. I'm sorry, please. I don't want to die here. I am in tremendous pain. Trips and breaks jaw. Please. The robber can barely talk anymore. It is an excruciating pain and agony. Tears and snot and blood are streaming down his face. Seriously? <laughs> Trips a few last times before dying miserably. Looks like you got a fair punishment for downing my tea. Jasper's justice has been served. Good ending, according to Becky. Justice has been served. Well, he was a moron, so I don't know. That was his fault anyway. We'll do him a favor and untie his shoelaces. Trips. Just untie my shoelaces already, please. Trips. Ugh, fine. Since apparently you're too dumb to do it just for yourself for some reason, I'm gonna be a good host. You untie his shoelaces. Yay, he jumps up and down. No, no, you are a great host. You are very kind, giving me tea and untying my shoelaces. I now realize my wrongs and will stop robbing people. Thank you very much. Um, what else? Ah, uh, not downing tea anymore, of course. Correct. Hooray, jumps up and down. So now that the air has been cleared of all aminosity, can I ask you something? Sure. Well, can I? Looks around shiftly. Rob your house again? What do you mean? Oh, whoops. 
What do you mean again? You didn't even rob it the first time yet. And no, you cannot rob my house. What happens to not robbing houses anymore? Please, the other houses I'm going to rob are probably going to be dirty and ugly and awful. But your house is so nice and clean and pretty. So may I rob your house, please? You think asking for permission makes it better? Yes? Well, technically, I guess it's not a robbery if you're allowed to take stuff. Exactly, so pretty please make puppy, puppy dog eyes. Before I make a choice, I'll make you another cup of tea, and this time you won't down it, okay? Splendid, I promise, I promise. Looks around shiftly again. You make him another cup of tea. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Downs tea in one go. You clench your fist and feel the fury, fury, fury inside you build up again. That's it. You've been rude enough. This is the last straw. Since I didn't put sleeping pills in that one because I trusted you, I'll have to knock you out myself. <laughs> you bring out this huge sledgehammer you've had hidden somewhere on your body. What, what are you going to do with that? The robber wants to back away but trips over his untied shoelaces. <laughs> How? You're not even tied together anymore and you're still tripping over them? Pathetic. You slam the sledgehammer against his head and knock him out. Goes unconscious. That's so unfair. Rude. You drag him down to your basement where people breaking into your house usually end up. Oh, there's a whole basement floor. You put in him into one of your makeshift cages. The robber starts waking up and holds his head in pain. Ugh, ow, what? Where am I? Why am I? No, I've been locked up? Am I in prison already? No, you're in my basement. I've given you enough chances. This is what you get. You're so unfair. How was I to know that downing tea would be so offensive? He rattles and kicks the cage door and attempts to squeeze between the bars of the cage. Cause I told you three times, you freaking dummy. Okay, fine. I did down your tea. Can't believe I'm apologizing for this again. But you see, it was just so good I couldn't help myself. Robert tries to squeeze past the bars again. Again. Why is he so dumb? Oh no. Really? My tea was just so good you couldn't help yourself? Yes, that's exactly right. It was just so, so delicious. I lost my control every time and downed it all at once. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I can let your crimes against my tea slide then. You will? Hooray! Jumps up and down. His head on cage ceiling. Ow. I can forgive you for the tea. But that doesn't mean I'll let you go. What? Why not? Just let me go, please. I don't like it in here. That's the point. You laugh maniacally. No! He rattles the bar and tries to squeeze through them again. You're so unfair. I'm stuck in this stupid, horrible, terrible cage. Pitiful whimper. You gotta stop trying to squeeze through those bars. That space is like a fraction of your size. And now you're calling me fat. This is all so horrible. Unfair, terrible. Cries. Ah, I don't like it in here. This is all your fault in the first place. You can stop your pity party. I know it's my fault, but I'm cold, I'm hungry, and I... I just want to be free. Free from this cage and fly like a bird back into freedom. Ew, cringe. Stop talking like that. Besides, I don't have anything against you right now. I forgave you for the tea thing. But, but, once I put somebody in my cage, something changes. And I just can't let, seem to let them go anymore. Ah, but what do you mean? Cries. Please, please let me go, I beg you. You can't keep me in this cage forever. I'll wither and die. You won't wither and die. You'll most likely bleed out or die from the blunt force trauma. Depends on what I decide to do with you. But I'm your guest in your house, you said. Remember, you're not gonna hurt me, right? You were a guest, but now you've upgraded from guest to prisoner. Well, from robber to guest to robber to guest to robber to guest to robber to guest to prisoner to be exact. But I don't want to be a prisoner. I want to be a guest. Please, 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 please. I'm so cold and hungry and lonely. And can't you just forgive me and let me go? Like I said, it's not about forgiving you anymore. I already did. But once I promise to go into my garden, I'm not allowed to take it back. No takes backsies. Centipede always keeps their promises, so I have to keep mine too. In the soil of the centipede needs fertilizer, and I promise to bring fertilizer. The rubber goes quiet and looks at you fearful and confused. The soil of the centipede? What does that even mean? Please, just let me go. I promise I won't tell anyone about this. I mean, I can't since I broke into your house in the first place, right? We were both in trouble then. <laughs> Please don't do anything bad to me. Actually, I'm going to do good things to you. But you'll only realize that once you're dead and buried in my garden to function as fertilizer for the soul of the centipede. Is the centipede some eldritch 
god or being. I'm... I'm gonna... what? No! Please don't do this. I don't want to die. I have a family. You have any idea how much it will hurt them if I die? Sobs hysterically. I can bury your family in my garden too. Then you'll all be together. N no! You're not gonna do that, right? No, this can't be happening. I must be dreaming. I just have to wake up now. Now, now, right now. The rubber sits down and starts rocking back and forth. This is a nightmare. This has to be a nightmare. Please, please, please wake up me up now. He tries squeezing his eyes shut and hoping he'll wake up in his bed at home, safe and sound. You feel the beast inside you screaming. Heh. <laughs> the robber tries to block out your creepy smile and giggling. He buries his face behind his knees and continues to rock back and forth, sobbing. Oh, please wake me up from this terrible nightmare. Wake me up from this horrible, horrible dream I'm having. Ha 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 ha. Your veins come out. This is so scary. Please let me wake up. Do you really want to keep your eyes closed for all this time? Don't you want to see what I'll be doing to you? No, please, please. I don't want to open my eyes. I don't want to see what you're going to do to me. Ha 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 ha. I guess you'll only feel it then. No! Neutral ending, according to Becky. Another one bites the soil. So the last option here is to offer him another cup of tea. Well, she'll probably just kidnap him again. Trips, just in time my shoelaces already, please. Trips again. Poor robber, looking so pathetic. You want another cup of tea? Yes, please. Trips and starts crying. Oh, don't worry, my tea will make you feel all better. You make him another cup of tea. Sniff, sniff. Thank you, this smells lovely. Downs tea. Why do you keep downing the tea? Why'd you down my tea again? I'm getting sick of your bullshit. Wait, I can explain. Oh, <laughs> what? You're about to explode from beastly rage. Let him explain your mom to death. Eh, okay. Use every ounce of your self-control and hold back the violence you're about to unleash on him in his pathetic exi existence. I'm really sorry, but I can't help it. Your tea is just so good that I automatically downed it every time without noticing. So, can I please have some more? Please? Makes puppy dog eyes. Wait, so you've been downing my tea because it's too good? Exactly. I see, why didn't you say so sooner? <laughs> of course you can have another cup, a cup. You make him another cup of tea. There you go. Thank you so much, Downs Tea. You know, I have to say, you're not so bad after all. You haven't even thrown anything at me or tied me to furniture. I expected more torture from you. Not such guests are friend friendless. I don't see any need to torture you yet. Trips. My shoelaces, they're still tied together. I almost forgot about them. Won't you help me, please, please, please? No. Eh? Because you know what? Fish isn't enough. I want to help you get a whole bunch of fish. You probably mean, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. Yawn. Yeah, that one. Uh, I'm feeling sleepy again. Oops, I put sleeping pills into your tea again out of habit. It wasn't on purpose this time, I promise. Anyway, I'll teach you to untie your shoes yourself <laughs> instead of doing it for you. Deal? Sounds like a splendid deal. How does he... I guess I'll just wait until he wakes up again. But in the meantime, I'll tie his shoelaces together even more so it'll be more of a challenge. You tie his shoelaces with a double trip mega giga super knot. Sleep talking. Why do I feel like my shoelaces are tied together even worse now? Hey, sleep talking while being a guest in a house you broke into is still rude. You yell at his sleeping face again. Robert starts waking up again. Hmm. Trips over double mega giga super taut knotted shoelaces. What? What the? How am I supposed to untie this? This is outrageous. Don't worry, I'll teach you. You can untie this. You can untie anything. I believe in you. Time to untie shoelaces. Come on, come on. I just want to walk again. This is silly. Here, let me show you what you have to do. You show him. Now do you try. Okay. Time to untie shoelaces. Ugh. I can't do it. It's too complicated. I should be out here robbing someone. Not trying to get out of my own shoelaces. What kind of robber can't even untie his own shoelaces? Don't you want to get a good robber? No, a great robber even. You're starting to get fired up. Come on. You can do this. I believe in you. Okay. Attempts to untie shoelaces. I can't. This damn double triple mega giga super knot. It's too hard. Starts crying. Let's cry more in time. Ah, attempts to untie shoelaces. I can't do it. Come on, are you a robber or a wimp? You start going feral. You feel the beast inside you screaming. Robert backs off slightly, getting overwhelmed. 
stop yelling at me, okay? I, I can do it. I come to untie your laces. Ugh, I can't do it. Cries. Do it. Do it. Do it. You pull your fangs starting to grow, your nail sharpening. Ah, please stop. I can't untie them. Stop being so mean and teach me better. I'm a great teacher. You're just a shitty ass student. Well, she's right about that. Right now, it's visibly obvious you're not completely human. Now go on and untie them. Don't be a wimp. Oh, what are you? A werewolf? Do it. Do it. Let out a guttural howl. Ah! <laughs> Attempts to untie shoelaces. Please, I'm sorry. Hit me in a nicer way. You're stressing me out. Cries. Untie them, you bastard. <laughs> Please? Come on, or I'm gonna rip you into pieces. The robber is terrified by now. No, please don't rip me apart, please. I'm scared. Cries even harder. Ha 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 ha. Yes, you should be scared. I have ripped apart so many bastards before you, and I always enjoyed every second of it. Now untie that double triple mega giga super knot before I scatter your organs all around my living room. Cries hysterically. Ah! No, okay, they're just in the screaming match now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Snarl and barking? Driven by fear and terror and not wanting to get mauled to death, the robber finally manages to untie his shoelaces. Ah, ah, I did it. Sniff, I did it. You did it. Chip, sip it down. I really did it. I untied the double, triple, mega, giga, super knot. Chip, sip it down. Hooray, I'm the best super teacher ever. You start coming down a bit. Fangs and sharp nails start going away. You really did help me. You're a true friend. Oh, we're friends now? Um, uh, are we? Only if you don't mind, of course. Sure, let's be friends. Can I... Can I have a hug, please? After all this, I really need a hug. I feel like you're the first genuine friend I've made in years. First genuine friend? Wow, your former friends must have sucked real hard if your bar is this low, but sure. Give him a hug. He hugs you back tightly and starts sobbing. Thank you so much. I've never met such a lovely person before. His bar isn't just low. It's burying itself <laughs> through... <laughs> Through the concrete. <laughs> I'm sorry for downing your tea. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. That's what friends do, right? They forgive each other for anything, no matter how immoral, moral, evil, or evil it may be. Jumps up and down. Hooray, I'm forgiven. You want another cup of tea? And don't worry about downing it. I don't mind anymore since I know my tea is just too good for you. <laughs> yes, please. That would be lovely. You make him another cup of tea. There you go. Downs tea. Thank you again for such lovely tea. <sighs> if you don't mind, I just lay down for a while. Damn it, I put sleeping pills into your tea again. It's such a habit of this point. Sorry. Huh, <laughs> it's okay. Feel free to sleep on my couch. Okay, thank you. So happy. <laughs> Me too. Shoe ending. Born to headlocker. Oh, that's his name? Friends. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, Becky's had enough, so we're just gonna maul him to death. No! I don't care. You feel the beast inside you screaming. I wanted to rip you apart. Wh what the? And I'll enjoy every second of it, just like I always do. What are you? Ah! <laughs> he's crying already. What incarnations are you? Oh, he's still screaming. Ahahaha. <laughs> Please, oh god, it hurts. Should we stop or continue? Mm, maybe it'll be a little mean. Okay, fine, I'll stop. The robber is terrified and in pain. H thank you? Okay, now I'll continue. No, wait, please, no more. Why? I'm having so much fun. B because I can't, um... Because what? You're getting ready to slash his face open. That'll shut him up. Because I'll rob a different house, I swear. Are you saying my house isn't worth robbing? No, I just... You're correct. I don't know why you chose this house in the first place. You're funny. Okay, haha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'll be going now then. Thank you for the lovely tea. Goodbye, miss. The robber clumsily breaks through another window while wincing in pain. It makes a loud noise. Uh oh. My neighbor is definitely awake by now. Knowing the robber just minimizes chances of surviving this night amuses you immensely. You calm down a bit. Maybe I can take the credit for luring a new guinea pig over to his place. Wait. What? Is everyone in this neighborhood crazy? If he doesn't get too angry and flattens him instantly, that is. I know how grumpy he is when woken up in the middle of the night. 
hear some commotion outside, but no screams. Just like you expected, his anger got the best of him. Good for the robber though, he'll probably die before he can even register what's happening. You open your window. Hey Jay, good morning. It's 4 a.m. Wow, you straight up flattened him. I'll flatten you one day too. Jay walks away and backs to his house. He was threatened to kill you when he's in a bad mood. He lets the last the creature to scratch the robber's body off his concrete later at night. Good night, Jay. You go out to tend to your garden. The centipede demands fertilizer. You'll just get some new fertilizer the next time someone breaks in. Neutral ending, according to Becky. Wow, Jay straight up flat. <laughs> I mean, they're killing robbers, but like, I kind of feel bad for this robber. It wasn't fair, I guess. And we shall continue with the mauling because he doesn't deserve our <laughs> uh, mercy. Ah, this is so unfair. Please, for the love of God. Please. And let's continue. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It hurts. Ha, 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 ha. This is mauling him. It's kind of, you're out of doing it, man. Oh. Stop screaming. His heart is in your hand and still beating. Heh. <laughs> smells amazing. It's gonna taste amazing too. Beginning according to Becky, time to feast. Oh god. Okay, now we're here we are the last option to just hand them all our money and whatnot. Hand over your money and earthly possessions or else. Okay. Splendid. Go on, hand them over. Go get them yourself. But I don't wanna. Me neither. Hold up knife. Hand over your money and earthly possessions or else. Or else you'll kill me. Yes. How will I hand over my money and earthly possessions if I'm dead? Hmm. You won't. Guess I'll just murder you and leave. You'll kill me over nothing? It's just too much work. I can't do a murder and a robbery. I'm actually working against a toxic work culture that aims to define me by money and predict productivity. Right now, I'm putting myself first and focusing on self-care and loving myself. Oh wow, that's so nice. Congratulations on your self-discovery journey. Thank you very much. Now, hand over your money and my possessions, please and thank you. But I'm kinda tired and I don't feel like helping you rob my own house. But I'm not going to rob your house either, that's why I'm ordering you to do it. You broke into my house to rob it in the first place. But I am allowed to change my plans and objectives if I do happen to feel like it gets too much in the middle of it. But right now I'm kind of tired, so do it yourself. But by telling me to do it myself, you're invalidating my feelings and concerns, therefore perpetuating the toxic world culture that forces me to neglect my physical and mental health in favor of money and results. <laughs> How do you come up with this when you're a robber? But you're invalidating my feelings and concerns too by forcing me to rob my own house with a knife, you dummy. But I'm doing all this, all I'm doing is putting myself first, which is not selfish and in fact, an act of self-care and self-love. But so am I. That's good. Thanks, same to you. Are you still kinda tired? Yes. Still too tired to help me rob you? Yes. Completely valid. I understand. Thanks. How about now? Still kinda tired. What if you took a nap and then you help, then you help me rob you? Hell no. Put me valid, I understand. Thanks! Okay. What if I myself took a nap on your couch? Maybe I'll be able to do everything myself if I get some rest. It has been a hard week. Sure. Thank you very much. Whoever lies down on the couch, you have a blanket to tuck him in. He seems very grateful. What a nice and polite robber. If only more robbers were this pleasant to deal with, he wouldn't know how to clean up after your mess. You wonder if you would bleed politely a little too. But you don't have any reason to find that right find out right now. And you'll never have a reason, in fact. Because no matter how many times he sleeps over at your couch, he never gets motivated enough to rob you all by himself. It's quite a hassle after all, and it's a completely valid decision. Hooray self-care. Good ending according to Becky, new roommate. I like this ending the best because in the end, they became like friend friends without her going all psycho crazy on him. <laughs> And how many times a week did you get robbed? Okay, so I think I got all the endings for Robber Guess. I like the game overall because it was just silly and fun and the robber was just very, very dumb for some reason. How do you rob other houses though then? I don't know. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!